Hey everybody, it's Dr. Joe, and today I'm going to show you how to use a TENS EMS unit for knee pain. So let's get started. Disclaimer alert! Disclaimer alert! So the folks at Healthmate Forever sent me their T12AB TENS EMS unit. They have a whole bunch of different units, wire, wireless, and so make sure and check them out by clicking the link up there. So for the knee, I like to put a roll underneath just so you can do some exercises with it. So with the electrical muscle stimulation, you can do a short arc quad. So that's why I like having the roll underneath. You don't have to use the roll. You can just put it straight out and still get a good contraction. But I do like having it there because I feel like you can get a little better contraction. So with the TENS, it's different than the EMS, how you would set it up. So I'm going to start off with the TENS. TENS is for pain mainly. And TENS just stands for transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation. And that basically means the nerves on the top, the surface. So this isn't a muscle contraction. You don't want to get or see a muscle contraction. Sometimes you'll see a little quivering with TENS, but if you're actually getting a contraction, you're not quite doing it right. Because this is to get the pain to go down. This isn't to get the muscle to contract. And so basically in theory, what it does is the vibration that you're feeling through the TENS unit follows the same pathway as the pain pathway and kind of cancels it out. So it's a great way to kind of get some of that pain down to be able to do stretches and exercises that you need to get better. So for the knee, what you want to do is you have four electrodes, which is two channels. And so they're going to cross each other like an X. So let's say I'm just having general knee pain kind of around the kneecap or, you know, maybe a little bit lower on that patellar tendon. I want to like encircle encompass that area so as you can see here there's two different channels and each channel has two electrodes you want them to do the crossing so if i'm to put it on my knee i want this channel to be across from each other so not like this but have one on the opposite side of the other and then the other channel is going to cross it. So you want to make that X. It makes a difference. If it's just here and here, you're just going to get them talking to each other that way and you're not really getting that pain area in there. So again, if the pain's here, you want to make sure that it crosses at that spot. So I'm going to put the, the electrodes crossing each other. It doesn't have to be in an exact spot for the tins. Um, sometimes you might want to even move it around a little bit once it gets started and that's fine. You can do that. So I'm just going to kind of cross it here and then I'm going to take the other channel and cross it as well. And so you can see I haven't turned the unit on yet. You can, but I usually kind of get everything set up before I turn the unit on. Um, you don't have to. It's not going to start right away or anything, but that's just usually what I do. I get everything nice and set up first. So again, as you can see here, this channel is crossing and this channel is crossing. So you want to make that X. Again, that's really important. So once you get that set up with the TENS, depending on what unit you have, if it's a TENS slash EMS unit, usually it has a bunch of different settings here. So for this particular unit, the 10 and 11 setting are the ones that are actually for the muscle stimulation and the other ones are for the 10. So the lower numbers are for the 10s. They're different settings, they're different feelings. Um, some it feels like a little pin pricking you, some it kind of feels like a massage, some revs up and goes down. People ask me all the time, which setting should I use? To be honest with the 10s, it really is just your comfort level. This is designed to decrease the pain. So if you like one better than four, it's really not going to make a whole lot of difference in the long run of I should be using the four because it does this. Some people will tell you that the different frequencies do different things, but I don't really think that's true because you're just trying to decrease the pain and you're trying to feel better. So if you like one better than the other, that's what you want to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start off with the first one here and you can set your time so it's automatic and it'll automatically cut off, which is really cool too. And then you can just start, it has the A and the B channel and I'm just doing the A channel um, right now. And then, so I'm just gonna start really, you wanna start slowly, don't just start cranking it up even if you don't feel anything. This is just on setting one and I'm already feeling something. I feel it even kind of going down into my foot a little bit. And that's just because the surface nerves are all connected. So 
this is comfortable, this isn't painful. If, it, if it's hurting, if you're doing like this, it's too much. It's not about how high you can go, it's about how good it feels for you. So it should be strong, but comfortable. That's what you really, really want. So you can see here, mine's just on one right now. Um, there's no muscle contraction, there shouldn't be a muscle contraction. I'm gonna try and take it up so you can see a little bit of a contraction and just show you that's probably too much because again, if you're getting that um, muscle contraction, you're fatiguing out the muscle and that's not the goal of the TENS. So I'm just gonna kind of start taking it up a little bit more. And so you can kind of see now, I don't know if you can see the inner one because it's kind of on my VMO is, is making a little bit of a contraction. You can see my foot, I'm not doing that voluntarily. That's, that's the unit doing it. So probably what's happening is this is just over my nerve here on the fibula and that's um, the peroneal nerve. And so it just goes down that leg and so that's what it's doing, it's just activating that. So what I might do is if I'm getting some of that, I would just pause it and then just move this electrode over a little bit. So you can definitely do that as well. And so get it off the nerve, start it up again, and you can see it's not moving like it was. But if I were to keep taking it up to go stronger, now you can see that I'm starting to get more muscle contractions. I'm getting it on the inside, that VM over there. That's not what you want. Again, that's not what you want for the tent. So I would definitely take it down or again, I would kind of move those electrodes around a little bit to get a better placement. So that's just kind of how you would use the TENS. And that's, again, making sure that those muscles don't contract. Now you can just use one channel with two electrodes and still use the TENS unit. You don't have to use all four. Sometimes people feel like that's a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause this and just kind of show you, I'm gonna go ahead and just take the whole thing away here. And so with this one, if you want to get maybe a more specific area, like let's say um, the pain is on your patellar tendon down there and it's not really your knee hurting at all, but it's that patellar, patellar tendon. So if you want to get a specific spot, then I usually say just use one channel or the two electrodes. So if you're hurting right here, if you're having some pretty significant pain, I would get the electrodes a little bit closer because that's just going to make it more intense and then just put it right there like that. So again, then you just can start it back up and, and do the same thing. So it might not be as strong. You might have to then um, go a little bit higher. So I'm on the one and I, I can just barely feel it because it's just that one channel. So then I would just kind of take it up a little bit. And so that is um, a three for me right there. So you still see there's no muscle contraction, but I'm getting a nice comfortable feeling and that's what I would want. That's gonna hopefully help take that pain away. So if you wanna do an EMS or the electrical muscle stimulation for the knee pain, I would usually say go for the quads or the VMO because if you're trying to strengthen that muscle, if it's really weak, that's gonna help with knee pain too. You can do the TENS and the EMS on your calf muscles, you can do it on your hamstrings, you can do it on your anterior tibialis. All those muscles have to do with the knee because these muscles are crossing and coming into that joint. But for me, I would say the quads probably the biggest one because it's usually a tracking issue of that patella or that kneecap. So if you have something like patella, femoral pain syndrome, chondromalacia, where it's not tracking properly, that's gonna cause knee pain. And so getting some strength in there is gonna help with that. So if you're in the clinic, and you probably wanna have this tried out by a physical therapist first, you don't wanna be using a TENS or an EMS until you talk to your healthcare professional because sometimes you're not supposed to do it. There's a certain things if you have, you're not supposed to be using these units, especially the electrical muscle stimulation where you're actually using that contraction. So make sure you check with your healthcare professional that it's okay. So for this one, I'm gonna try and get that specific muscle belly. So I'm just gonna use two electrodes again. So I like to kind of cross it. If you're in the clinic, I was going back to say, a lot of times they'll use a probe to find exactly where those trigger points are to get the muscle contraction. You don't always have to be exact. Again, what I like is you can kind of move the electrodes as you go. So if you do a placement, I'm just kind of crossing to get that whole quad muscle, but if you don't feel like it's working, you can kind of move it as you go. So again, for this unit, and make sure you're reading the directions, the 10 and the 11 are the muscle actual stimulation. So I'm gonna go on two, and the cool thing about this is it, it shows weights. So to me, you know, if you're lifting weights, you're kind of strengthening the muscles. So that's, that's a nice way 
to um, kind of show that you're doing that. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to go over to the tin here. And so just starting off, make sure you're just going, you kind of feel it. I'm feeling it, but it's not doing a contraction yet. So as I go with electrical muscle stimulation, you want it to be strong. So I always say, go as high as you can tolerate. And sometimes, you know, that might not be a whole lot for people. Sometimes it's a lot. So I'm starting to get the contraction. You can see that my leg's starting to pull a little bit and starting to get a little quiver. And then I'm just gonna go a little bit more. And once I get that contraction, you can see right there, that big contraction. If you can tolerate, this is really strong, go up one more because you want it, You want this to be uncomfortable. You're trying to strengthen this muscle. And so when I go up and I get this contraction, if you wanna do an exercise with it, then you're doing the exercise as you feel it. So if this is contracting that quad, as it's contracting, I wanna kick that leg up and do it. And so that's how, I'm just, I'm not even holding it, see? And it just dropped back down. So it's helping me do the work. So if you're at a point where your muscle, you, that's, that's, really weak and you can't do it this will help activate that muscle so you can do it so that's just a way to do it so for this some it, you'll have different protocols some people say do 10 minutes worth i say you know don't do quite that much because it's really going to make those muscles tired i would just try a couple minutes in the beginning and see how it feels and then let that muscle recover and relax because if you're not giving it time to recover you're going to be really really sore and painful so make sure and talk with your physical therapist to get a good protocol for this because you can overdo it because it is really contracting that muscle so if you're interested in purchasing one of the TENS EMS units from HealthMate Forever, make sure and click on the link up there. And don't forget to subscribe by clicking down there. And remember, be safe, don't go too high. Have fun, and I hope you feel better soon.